This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, July 29th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a ridge beginning to weaken over the south and west, producing very little, if any, activity outside of the monsoonal flow and a few storms along the mountain range. Trough over the east, northwesterly flow is going to keep the temperatures pretty much around where they were yesterday. Middle to upper 70s to low 80s across the state. Could see some afternoon clouds that could produce an isolated shower here or there. Most places will remain dry. You can still see that here Wednesday. See a disturbance off to our south producing some decent moderate to heavy rains across Colorado, Kansas, into Oklahoma, and even northern Texas where they need some rain down there. That system begins to weaken as it moves into Arkansas and into the Delta region of Mississippi, Louisiana. Still could see some spotty afternoon showers with the pop-up daytime heating clouds around. High still either so a couple degrees either side of 80. Still a case on Friday. Better chances of any pop-up showers during the afternoon look to be in our eastern counties here, with readings still mainly upper 70s to mid 80s. That looks to be the case even into Saturday. The shower chances may dwindle to almost nil on Saturday and even into Sunday as well. Better chances of rain will be east of us and southeast of us. And high pressure will still be in control even into Sunday as a new storm system begins to approach from the west. By this point, the ridge and trough pattern will have become a zonal flow across the country. So this storm off to our west begins to slowly move in our direction. You can see the frontal system just moving into the northwestern counties of the state here by Monday afternoon. Could see some showers with the daytime meeting in the southeast and possibly a tropical system north of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. And you can see that here north and east of the Bahamas. Zonal flow across the country appeared by next Tuesday. See a disturbance moving with that flow with that frontal system over South Dakota, Nebraska. And that will be with that frontal system that will slowly be sagging south and beginning to stall out. And that could mean some decent chances of showers and thunderstorms beginning late Monday night through the day on Tuesday. And we'll see if this continues. And even as we go further into the, into the period, this is August 9th, we have a disturbance over the state once again. Main storm track pretty much over the northern tier of the country. You can see what's left of that tropical system beginning to recurve off the east coast. We have a disturbance over us that could produce some showers and thunderstorms. The south and western part of the country remain dry. The east coast remains fairly wet and scattered to widespread basis. And then as we go to the end of forecast, August 13th, now we have a trough digging in across the northern plains. Ridge forming over the Pacific Northwest, and that's not what they need. They need rain out there with all the fires they've been experiencing. But with that, this will bring a cold front down through our neck of the woods. That could bring some showers and thunderstorms once again in a scattered to widespread basis with readings mainly around 80, but could be warmer or cooler. We'll have to see. Satellite image from last evening. We had a frontal system moving off the East Coast that had been producing quite a bit of severe weather across the east and southeast over the last few days, including a couple of tornadoes. The monsoonal flow continuing over the south and west, and this will be moving south and east. You can see that with the watch warning map. Flash flood watches over a large portion of Colorado, northern New Mexico, northeastern Nevada, heat advisory in eastern Washington, and from the Mississippi River eastward, it's fairly quiet. But the QPF chart shows it won't be very quiet there either. This is rainfall for through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, showing the heaviest rain in a stripe from Colorado through Oklahoma into Arkansas, just off the East Coast. Around here, maybe a couple of hundreds to a tenth with any pop-up showers that form.